Welcome back to the walkthrough. This appears to be the last time we'll be going into the quick play mode because unless the golf games are actually affected by these toggles down here, I don't really see any reason to replay them other than like maybe as a super bonus video for the ultimate score that I can possibly do. But for now, Blue Moon Dunes. <laughs> I think. I think. This could be ugly actually. <laughs> <laughs> because remember this has got the super long distances, it's got all sorts of tricky landing areas, and we don't have our souped up main character player. <laughs> uh, we'll see how things go. I'm gonna go for the turtle and go for the fairway. Hopefully. <laughs> I, that might be too wishful thinking. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Very nice, actually. <laughs> Alright, 98 yards, a shovel for the potential chip-in, let's give it a shot, and let her fly. By the way, there's no dark music going on here, we just have the epic opera of finaliness going on here. Yeah, easy birdies too. <laughs> I thought the first soul actually give me more issues there, but nope, the turtle, turtle cut out a lot of the distance that I needed on that hole. But here, we have an ultra-long par 5, will it make a difference? We'll see. I'm gonna go for that fairway over there, because I can with my skimming woods, although I underhit that, which may be dicey, or, oh, actually it was overhit, hmm, hmm, well, I still think I can get to there in three at the very least. Uh, wait a second. Hold on. I see something I could do here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you see that? See that? Always weigh your options. <laughs> and fast fairway. Well, just fairway, but I think it says fast at the, the corner, yeah. I did not pick up on that uh, when I was just dropping balls on that sort of textured fairway, because it says fairway when you land it on there, but it doesn't actually say fast fairway, it only says fast at the bottom right corner. So I, I kind of missed that in some situations, but yeah, the different colored fairway is indeed a different sort of doom for your ball, depending on the situation. It could be useful to get across things, remember a faster surface can uh, make your ball go further, which can be useful, but it can also be a detriment if it makes your ball roll in the water or something, so... All depends on the situation, and that's probably gonna go over, unlike my plan. Yeah, ah, I wanted to chip it in on the fly to be all fancy-like. But alas, alas, I'm gonna have to settle for a putt since there's less between me and the green this time. Woo! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I didn't know if I could putt it through all that on the other side. Maybe I could've, but I knew I could've on that side, though, because there was a lot less between me and the green there. Maybe, uh, no, maybe I should have putted it on the other side instead of chipped it, tried to chip it in on the fly. Because it, because I probably could have just increased the power with ZR. Maybe I just jumped the gun there. Anyway, it's, it's in the past now. We must look to the future of golf. For there are seven holes left, and we're on one of them now. <laughs> uh, wait a second. I probably should go for the turtle, actually. Because, yeah, I got the skim, plus I have the turtle, so it's relatively safe to do this. Like, even if it goes over the fairway because of the turtle bounce, it'll still end up skimming over the water. Wow, that turned out fantastic! <laughs> I, like, I couldn't even look that far ahead, even if I used the second analog stick. And no, I have not figured out what the L and R buttons do, even though it just flashes that on the bottom right corner. R? L. R. L. R. L. Or L. <laughs> it doesn't seem to affect anything. At least as far as I can tell. I didn't see any information on it either. Yeah, I have been looking up stuff. I'll, I'll uh, uh, g give you an... I mean, I, I want to sort of like have a finishing thing for the last part, basically, so... Yeah, yeah. You, you'll, you'll know what I mean when I get to it. <laughs> 
basically is stuff that I've already experienced, I've only looked up stuff on, but nothing in the future. <clears throat> and now... Uh, oh, I was gonna, well, wait, wait, hold on a sec. Can I combine the skimming woods with the turtle? <laughs> this is an experiment worth trying out. Please, please don't go to doom. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, on top of the tree, I hit, hit the top. Oh, what? Oh. oh. <laughs> All right, I think that was about as good as I'll get it. And now we're gonna hope that the deep rough doesn't mess with my distance control that badly and get it in the hole. Oh, 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 you! Such a tease! <laughs> oh! Could have been an eagle. But no, it bounced around the hole. Like a basketball just teetering on the edge while it's rolling around and pops out at the last second. <sighs> anyway, utilizing the fast fairway, you can just, this is a long par four. And hopefully. That doesn't really show much as fast, does it? I was gonna say, hopefully it'll give me a little extra distance, but maybe if it did, it would have put me in the water anyway. I don't know. I don't know. So maybe I shouldn't. Shouldn't question it that much, because I'm still in a safe position, I can make the green in two. And even better, <laughs> make it in in two. <laughs> nice. All right, next hole, no need to get that putter out, leave that head cover on, and oh no, this is the, oh no, the par three, that's not really a par three. Uh, can I? I don't know if I can even make it. Like, I don't- I can't skim it, because the trees are gonna get in, uh, get in my way and knock out all the skim in my shot. I guess I'll just have to try and chip it in. Which is not impossible. <laughs> just gonna try and land it on that patch of fairway first of all. This nice chunky- well, that would've went too far anyway and end up in that fluffy stuff that separates the fairway, but eh, well, still have a shot. Still have a shot at this par 3 that is not a par 3. And the ball is off to its home, hopefully. Just please, all. Oh, I was gonna say, please give me a happy ending to the hole with a birdie, but nope. Nope. You're gonna make me par it. Make me par it. You make a fool out of me, hole. <laughs> you know that, that uh, I, even, even with that, uh, I'm still 5 under. And you have to be zero to, uh, I mean, well, I, guess I should say zero or one under to outright win the tournament, so... Eh, I guess it's still pretty, pretty game-winning. <laughs> oh, I should, you know what I should do? I should... Use the water. Oh, wait, no, I've actually got a... Because the trees give me ire here. I don't, not precision mode, there we go. Now precision mode. Okay, that should touch the water and give me a good boost through its skim. Hopefully. <laughs> yes, yes, yes! <laughs> That's using the conditions to your advantage. And now... I should probably go for the slam dunk. <laughs> because there's not much green to work with here. Uh, oh, so close! So close, I thought... It would have been just fine, but it wasn't. It wasn't. But I can put it in from here. Uh, or not. There was a lot more rough than I thought there was there. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll take a par. A disappointing par, making a fool out of me again. <laughs> and... We're off. Putting that behind us as well. Never to be spoken of again. I'm gonna actually use the skimming woods again and try and get to the green, utilizing the backspin for stopping power, because it's actually gonna be pretty pretty far Oh oh not I thought the green was just past that bunker. Oh, well. I guess I wouldn't have made it no matter what then. So nothing to feel bad about. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kinda hard to get a visualization of the hole with such a quick flyover. Go in, go in! Yeah! 
And come to think of it, even with, uh, I'd have difficulty getting on the green anyway, because that bunker in front of the green. Mm, 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 mm. Well, just wait until you see me play this with the antique clubs and the harder, <laughs> the harder conditions. That's gonna be a battle for the ages, and it's gonna be pretty soon too. All right, I'm gonna try and do one bounce, use the water to skim, and well, almost did. Because the, yeah, I was trying to do one bounce to, and then land it on the water to, to do a skim, and then off to the fairway. Nah, game was like no, not gonna do, not gonna allow that. By the way, her impact area is very, very tiny. See that purple area on the swing gauge? Yeah, so my stat increases of the main character, definitely very useful. <laughs> uh, okay. How can I get it to stop on that fairway and give myself a chance to get on the green in four, which is regulation for a par six? I would bet like this. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I was a bit lucky, I think, because it rolled out further than I thought it would. But, we're in okay position. I wanted it to be in front of those uh, death weeds, but no, no, we're okay. We're, even if it's a little bit past, and that's a, a, the tiniest landing area in the world, it, it still worked out because it's still fair away. Oh, no! <laughs> I thought, I thought I had an eagle there. Alas, alas, I did not, though. I had a birdie. That's fine with me. Okay, eat under par. That would still be a tournament win. Although, this isn't the same conditions as the tournament, which were pretty windy and it had kind of varied slope greens and whatnot. Anyway, we're about to find out how things turn out here. Begin. Which could be the very hardest thing in the entire game to, to get under par at, maybe. <laughs> Well, we're gonna find out! Oh boy. <laughs> we're doomed, aren't we? We're doomed! We're never gonna finish this round. The carry distances are too far. There's, there's gonna be too much water between us. Well, that's... that's fast fairway we working, working in action there. <laughs> well, actually, probably not. Probably more of the, uh... Uh... Antique clubs not having much stopping power. Uh, I can't reach the turtle. So I'm gonna have to scale it back a little bit and go over here. Yeah, I guess maybe it was the oh <laughs> restart, restart. Could I actually restart if I wanted to? Well, I could. Hmm, should I do that? Maybe I should. Or is I just have a rest retire from the hole? <laughs> okay, it lets me go all the way back to the title screen. I just want to see what'll happen if I can get something a little better here. Whoops. Uh, no. Okay, just give myself a much better chance at a decent start. <laughs> you ready? You ready? No two, no double ball in the water this time, please. Thank you. All right, so the wind should take me over to the left of that big tree, and then we should be okay. Oh no! Well, it was to the left of the tree, I guess. <laughs> it did not take me as far left as I thought it would, but it's not in the water. Not in the water. All I wanted to do was to land in the rough and, you know, slow down, land, roll it off to the fairway, but no, no. <laughs> well, at least I know you can retire and then kind of get back to a round quickly if you don't like how things are going. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to use the slope of the green to my advantage, but nah, nah, game is like no. I'm just gonna kick you off to the side. There we go. Ooh, that might be under hits or not, depending on the wind. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Better than two balls in the water. <laughs> yeah, that was just too bad for. I mean, it, I had two that unexpectedly rolled in the water, and I was like, oh come on, really? Just give myself a chance at least at getting under par. <laughs> Alright, even though I probably don't have much of a chance of getting under par under these conditions, but, you know, it's just, just for the scene. Like, to get a realistic idea of, a, I guess you could say, a typical round with these sorts of clubs and conditions. Alright, fast fairway, take me to victory. Woo! I said, take me to victory, not end up short. <laughs> Like, I think it was because of the 10-yard range, but still, I was anticipating the wind pushing me forward. No. 
<laughs> no, it, it's like it did not at all, for whatever reason. All right, that fast fairway it hit, though. Okay. So this is going to be like the day of balls in the water? Maybe, who knows. <laughs> Uh, with that side slope there, I probably should play way out here and then just kind of let it trickle down. Probably, I think. Mm, I should have landed it back further. But that was about the right idea based on its, uh, where it ended up. Uh, could I? I could maybe put that. <laughs> probably not the best of ideas. I think I need to play a little slope if I'm gonna do that. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna putt it. Oh, ah, <laughs> that was actually too hard. I didn't know if there was enough, there was too much drag for the ball to get through before I reached the hole. But no, I would have made it. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I think even getting a single birdie on this course with these clubs and this character will be virtually impossible. <laughs> and we'll see. I might be able to manage a chip in here too along the way, who knows? All I know is I'm just ending up hitting two trees all the way through. This is another really long, long par 5, so that's not going to help matters for my underdeveloped character's stats. <laughs> this character needs to get more experience points, dang it! <laughs> uh, wait a second. Hold on, I, I see an opportunity here. I was gonna, mm, I was gonna say, see if I can maybe get through the trees and then, yeah, like somewhere through there, and then roll it to the hole. I mean, the the fairway that way. I've got to ensure that I don't hit the tree at all, <laughs> like the front tree at all. Or otherwise, it's gonna bounce the. Uh, oh, close! Pretty close. And I also think I got. I mean, yeah, I think I got a weed, but yeah, I tried my best. No regrets. Nugget Bridge, 1995. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, gee. That, uh, that range. That range. I'm still 162 away. Uh. Uh. Guess I now. I guess I'm forced to play off to this, this side here. Uh, maybe I should have played that to that side to begin with? I didn't think I would end up in that bad a doesn't hit. I don't think I ended up in that bad shape. I think also why I ended up in the bunker on the other side there was the rollout. I keep forgetting that I'm using antique clubs and they don't have the best stats in on themselves as per design. Anyway, antique. Go in the hole, prove me wrong! <laughs> nah, it's not gonna be that nice to me. I'm already on my seven shots. And. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Wait, actually, hold on. Hold on a sec. Let's go ahead and try it. Go mostly aerial here. Ah, oh, this green slope. I was gonna say, if I can get it to land just next to the hole and make it kick right, but it, it ended up landing much shorter, and the slope did not fare well to my shots. <sighs> This could also be the, the longest round in the world, for all I know. Because of the, the how many strokes I'm taking on each hole. We'll see, though. Things could turn around for me. Wait, hold on a sec. Could I get to this patch of fairway? No, I cannot. The antique clubs and the character is just too short. Too short! So I'm going to try and roll this over to the edge of this patch of fairway here. Bounce over the bunker. And there we go. That's okay, I guess. It's, it's kind of far away, but it's okay, I guess. It's safer than my other plays, I suppose. And the driver, ye old play club, and she is good, yes! This actually looks like I can get a birdie for once. <laughs> but can I follow through? Yes, I can! <laughs> Getting back on track. Maybe, maybe I can get back to under par from here. <laughs> Even I have to laugh at that. Oh no, that's. What is this? Where, where is safety? Where? <laughs> I don't. Is this all I can do? Is aim there? To this little? No, this can't be. 
Um, how about I go over to that patch of rough? Because <laughs> that just seems... If I, if I aim that far back to that patch of fairway, it just seems like it's going to be... Ooh, wow, that rolled out way too far. I keep, keep overestimating or underestimating the rollout of the antiques. Uh, okay. So... See, here comes another ball in the water. <laughs> nah, nah, I knew that there was the patch up ahead there that I could play through, but that was really close, though. Closer than I would have preferred. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna go all the way up there and utilize that side slope and my backspin with my spade. <gasps> oh, 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 oh! Aww. <laughs> that was a good outcome, though. That probably saved me two strokes, actually. Uh, because that could have been over the green, then I would have probably missed the shot after that, and then one putt into the hole. Assuming that I wasn't above the hole on my next shot after that, then I would putt off the green. <laughs> and the par 3? That is not a par 3. Here we go. I think with my mega rollout here, it should get through a lot of stuff that it didn't before, yeah. Because uh, I wasn't able to get past that patch of fluff in the middle of the fairway there before. But with the powerful rollout of the antique clubs, you can utilize that to your advantage sometimes. <laughs> I think I overhit that. Please don't go in the water because the heavy slope. Okay. <laughs> I think if I just overhit it and not move the cursor or anything like that, it'll just go in. Yeah, I think so. Let's go way up. Yeah! Four over. But that's probably a champion's round under these conditions. <laughs> and... Oh no. Oh no, not another one of these situations. Is there a safe spot besides playing it to the tee box? Uh... Hmm. Uh, I guess I could give myself extra topspin and maybe make it to that fairway there. As long as it bounces over the bunker. I also gotta kind of curve it in the right direction too. And hope that the wind will work with me. And hope that the planets align. <laughs> oh jeez, it worked! <laughs> the planets, they align for me. <laughs> uh, wait, I gotta go. Oh, this could actually be a really dangerous shot. Because look at my low trajectory. Wait, wait, hold on. I got a plan. Rudder, all the way back here, hit under the ball, utilize the wind to curve it towards the hole, and hope it, the slope doesn't roll in the water. <laughs> Why? Why? It goes right in between them. Well, now I can make it to the green regular with the, the rudder, but... Okay. <laughs> this is me trying to make the best of a round any which way that I can. Because <laughs> it is indeed possible to make bur even under hit that, dang it. Because it is still indeed possible to make good scores ish, at least even air birdie. And I'm going for it. As unlikely as it is, and maybe that's what's getting me to. Because <laughs> I'm going for the gusto. And the gusto is the riskiest of the risk. Uh, wait, wait, what is this? I think I got a tree and it's messing with me. Yes, I do. I don't... I don't know what I can do about that in terms of shooting angle. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait. Uh, if I aim there, the wind should push me away from the tree then, right? Because I was moving upwards. No, it did not. <laughs> That was actually me trying to play safe, because I was trying to aim for some place that was open and that was away from the trees, because I noticed that I had a wide gap between the trees as I was aiming around here. So I thought if I just played to that very edge of the tree, it wouldn't touch the tree, but oh, it touched the tree, alright. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe you can't play safe after all. Who knows? <laughs> maybe... I shouldn't have restarted that first hole, because I don't think this is turning out much better overall. Uh, hold on a sec. I might actually have to do some fanciness here. The <laughs> landing is short, because of the low trajectory. I'm like short of the bunker and then bouncing it over. 
or land to get in the bunker? What? Why did that even... The wind, maybe? Because I hit that... No, no, I didn't just hit that. I nailed it right on the mark. Uh, well... Hmm. Okay, I'm anticipating the weird side bounce that the sort of slopey green has. Hm, not bad. <laughs> Alright, so one hole to go after this. And we can call... <sighs> it a day. <laughs> Yeah, this is very, very difficult to even get par on. <laughs> even playing, quote-unquote, as safe as you can. Uh, oh no, 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 I don't... <laughs> I can't reach any fairway again! Uh, at least I don't think I can. Other than the tee boxes. <laughs> There's a tee box over there. I don't think that's gonna help my score that much. Uh, hold on a sec. If I aim over to this side... And then maybe curve it that away. Uh, yeah, I think I can get away with going over the tree and then hitting off to the rough. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I didn't really have a shot at the fairway, so I thought I would go for a chunky patch of rough instead. And that turned out okay. Got as much distance out of it as I could, and yeah. I mean, I was definitely not going to try bouncing it over the water when I had the rough to deal with there. Okay, a lot of diamond-shaped bunkers that will cause ire all over the place, and there's no way I'm reaching that island, this particular route through this hole, so I'm not even gonna bother unless I somehow manage to get myself in such a situation where it would be better for me to play to the island, but I don't think so. I don't think there's really, well man, that rollout, I don't think there's really a situation playing around this way that I could ever reach that island. Yeah. Uh, going for that patch of fairway across. Look how tiny the oh, impact area is very tiny. I think it, or at least normally in uh, golf games, if you miss hit when the impact area is that tiny, like you're outside the purple area, you'll duff it. I don't know if it's like that in this game though. Uh, could very well be. Woo! I should try duffing a shot somewhere <laughs> along the stuff. Like there's. There's still a couple of things I'd like to cover even after this, like mysterious things that I've still not uh, fit it, like figured out overall, or stuff that I've looked up ahead of time that I mentioned that I've already done, and I just wanted to see things just to kind of be sure on them and whatnot. Still don't know what the LNR art is used for though, other than just to make a, a shadow effect. <laughs> and this is gonna go off the green, I, I know it's gonna go off the green. <laughs> it, just, it just accelerates! And I totally missed the hole there, too. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna aim straight for it, because... Uh, I was gonna say, because the slope of the green just kind of pushed me in the exact direction away from the hole, based on how high the slope was, because I just barely missed the hole. There we go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think I played it that badly. It's just, it's just that... Hard to play with that, the character set up and clubs. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll consider that a success for once. <laughs> now with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.